All right, everybody, welcome back to Rascal Rants Review. Big Mike back again, and this is my Destination X pay-per-view review. And uh, we're going to get right at it because, and it's probably going to be quick. I'm not going to go too in-depth over the details. Just going to be quick uh, quick results, basically, and um, that's about it. Just because I'm fucking tired, and I want to get it out there tonight. And, uh, so, yeah, here we go. First match, we see Kazarian and Small Joe. Open the, open the show up. I thought this match would be later on in the card. However, it opened the show up, and it was okay. It was a good wrestling match. It wasn't very X Division-ish to me. But we see Kaz over Joe with a roll-up, uh, and I give this match a 2.75. Um, Doug Williams comes out, and he's got, like, an open uh, open match to anybody in the back. And um, who comes out? Some Mark Haskins dude. He's like a Joe Mo. Fucking cracked out Brian Kendrick mixture. Really, uh, I don't know. But apparently he's a fellow UK guy from the UK. And he was on the tour last year or something when they were over there. And I don't know how he got on pay-per-view when he could have had like Petey Williams or Johnny Devine or Sanjay Dutt or York Skipper or somebody else in that spot. But it was Douglas Williams over Mark Haskins in a 2.25 star match. It was okay. Haskins showed some uh, promise, but uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Not that great. Douglas Williams won with a fucking roll up, so we got two roll ups in a row to start off an X Division pay per view. Uh, next match is a match that was made tonight: uh, Eric Young and Shark Boy versus Generation Me. Uh, I gave this match two point seven five stars. It was pretty good. There was a few nice spots. Obviously, by Gen Me, they know what they're doing. And uh, but it was EY and Shark Boy over Gen Me in a 2.75 star match. Uh, next match is the X Division Ultimate X match. Um, it's Alex Shelley, Robbie E, Shannon Moore, and Amazing Red. Uh, we have Alex Shelley winning the Ultimate X, getting the number one contender shot for the X Division title. This match I give it 3.25 stars. It was pretty good. I just can't stand Robbie E either. Fuck that guy. That guy cannot sell, like, at all. Everything he does, he fucking shakes like he's, like he's fucking cold or something. He doesn't sell his shit. Next matchup is one of the best matches of the night. Um, it was RVD and Jerry Lynn. These guys were going to be as old as they are, proving that they were X Division before there was an X Division. You know, they went out there and they brought down the house. They were the whole fucking show. I gave him a four star, and it was RBD over Jerry Lynn. Um, next up is a contract match: uh, Austin Aries versus Zima Ion versus Jack Evans versus Low Key. This match, to me, was the match of the night, and I gave it a four point five star. And A Double wins the contract. That's right, Austin Aries wins the contract. I want I want to say this was a roll up too, but I don't think it was. No, it was my bad. When A double wins, he's got the contract. And up to this point, um, my predictions are flawless. Um, I'm batting 100 or batting 1,000 right now. Um, so, yeah. Next match is Kendrick and Abyss. I gave it a 3.25 star. Um, this match was typical David versus Goliath. Kendrick never really mounted much of an offense. And when he did, it was just minor. Kept getting shut down, kept getting shut down. Referee gets bumped. Immortal comes out, and then the rest of the X Division comes out, and there's a great big melee in the middle of the ring. Abyss goes for a choke slam. Kendrick switches it, rolls him up. That's right, three rolls up in a pay per view. Um, just bad booking, especially for an ultimate or for Destination X for an X Division uh, pay per view. Shouldn't be winning with roll ups. But Kendrick is your new X Division champion. And last but not least is your main event of the evening, AJ Styles. And Christopher Daniels, and that match, that last match, actually, um, is why I wanted to say welcome home to the X Division. Because of my predictions, I didn't really have a clear-cut winner. I said, if Abyss wins, count the X Division dead. If Kendrick wins, welcome home. So, uh, welcome home. So, I don't know. I didn't have a clear-cut winner, so I guess I'm still batting a 1,000 with a, with a foul ball or a walk, maybe. Or I was hit by a pitch. Um, and next, AJ Styles and Daniels was the main event. This match started off with a bang, then it slowed right the fuck down, then it finished with a bang as well. 
I give it anywhere from a three quarters to a four star match. Um, and it was AJ Styles over Daniels with the spiral tap. Um, it was a good match. The whole match played off how well they knew each other. You know, it was very, it was very entertaining, but there was a lot of slow spots in it, um, in my opinion, anyways. But AJ was over Daniels, and I was correct here as well. I know I called it to be a draw, but I said if there's going to be a winner, it's going to be AJ. And AJ it was. So that's it, folks. That's your uh, Destination X pay-per-view review. I know it was kind of quick, uh, quite kind of just to the point. But, hey, that's all we need. So uh, I don't know what I'll see again. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for uh, Day in Wrestling History, but I'm not too sure what else I'm going to do next. So I'd like to do a Q&A again. I know I haven't said this in a couple weeks, but hit me up in my inbox. You can ask me anything. Um, just hit me up. I want to do a Q&A. I want to do it. I want to do it for you fans out there. Or for you subscribers. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you fans. It's late night. Sorry, folks. Peace out. See you on the flip side.